Oh hell, it's just never gonna look good. It's just never, <laughs> it's my hair. It's just, it's never gonna look good. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Mailer's Landing. It is April 28th, 2021, and I'm out in the garden feeling grateful this morning. Just blown away by these peas. Oh my goodness, let me show you what's going on. Oh my happy day, y'all. What is going on here? Do you see all these pea shoots? Oh my goodness, and that's just one of like six rows that all are coming up. They're coming up, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> Which one of you wished all this good stuff at my peas after I was complaining so hard about them? Oh my word, they are all coming up. And by all coming up, I mean all coming up. So here's what happened. I planted these peas next to the trellises. I'm thinking, all right, our first harvest will be peas, and then once the peas are spent, I'll plant some beans. I've got a project coming up where I wanna try some cucumbers on the trellis. I've got a tiny melon um, called a rich sweetness melon that I wanna try on the trellises. So, but it was all hanging on to let's first do the peas. Let's put the peas up, we'll get a harvest, and then we'll go to the next thing, right? And so I sowed the peas, and three weeks later, nothing had happened, and I was really bummed. So I had the guys bring over some of the compost and lay it down in, in nice, neat rows at the base of the trellises, and I planted more peas. And two weeks later, nothing had happened. And then, and then, it snowed. And so everything in the compost that I had done as a second planting was like, yo, it's time to get up, it's nice and wet, let's do this. And so did everything in the first planting. <laughs> um, so maybe we'll get lots and lots of peas. I'm hoping they're not crowded in each other, that it'll be okay. Um, I feel like it, it could be fine. I don't want to thin them. If I have to thin them, I'll just move some of them <laughs> instead of thinning them. I'm gobsmacked. I'm just so thrilled that the peas are coming back. Part of the reason I'm super excited about these peas is that we just, we eat a lot of them. <laughs> In other garden news, the strawberries are not doing so good. Um, I got a feeling I didn't plant them deep down enough into the Ruth Stout plot that a lot of them were sitting on hay and have dried out. So I've gone in there and I've moved some stuff around and exposed those roots to the wet part of the, the stratum there and hopefully they will come back to life. They are bare root plants so they do go dormant sometimes. So I've got 10 more on the way that I'll stick in that plot if these ones don't perk up soon and we'll go from there. I don't know if you saw on Bill's Instagram, um, he's Bill Just Is on Instagram. I'll, I'll link to him in the description below. But uh, the greenhouse is full. It has been full for a couple of weeks now. And I've been hardening some plants off. We're getting ready to put them in the ground. It is mostly, mostly brassica. I've got some mustard greens that I'm going to put in. I have a scant handful of Brussels sprouts. I think there are four in here, maybe five that germinated. Then we've got a little bit of Chinese cabbage. And I'm so looking forward to these, y'all. Last year I picked up at the beginning of the summer a fermentation kit. Um, with the glass weights and the, the top that burps itself, but I never got around to using it. I just didn't have time in between everything else. So this year, the plan is that we're gonna make some kimchi. I'm really looking forward to that. I love kimchi, so we'll see what we can cook up from our homegrown. I've got a little bit of bok choy that we're gonna put in, and we cook with that a lot, so I'm really looking forward to that. I also sprouted a handful of rapini, and 
it's just a small handful. I'm the only one who likes it. So we're gonna run with that. <laughs> we'll run with the uh, five that we have in here. Maybe there's six, I can't tell just yet. And then I've got a few cauliflowers, which may or may not be purple Sicily. They're, they're purple. I'm guessing that it's the purple Sicily. I, honestly, I cannot remember what I planted. I'll have to go in and take a look at the seed packet and see. And then I've got some spinach that I picked up at the farm store. They just opened their garden section and they had these out and my spinach did not germinate. So I'm thrilled that I was able to get some this early into the season. And the last thing I've got is a little bit of kale that I planted for the bunnies. This was actually, I don't like kale. Can I be that guy for a minute? I just, I don't like it. and I. I really don't like what it does to my digestive system um, but I got some free seed from Baker Creek and how dare I waste it you know I got uh, I think Ragged Jack is the the variety of it and I am told that rabbits really like kale so the plan is to plant this pretty stuff I mean and it is pretty and kale is such a survivor I just don't want to eat it <laughs> it's a, I, I recognize it's good for you I just I, I just don't want to I just don't want to eat it y'all but there are rabbits in the neighborhood so we're gonna plant this outside the fence so the rabbits have something nice to, to chow down on instead of trying to dig holes into our garden and it's pretty and it's really hard to kill why would I turn it down so the plan is for everything but the kale that I'm going to plant it underneath the arch trellises so that once the beans come in and it's all shaded under there, um, hopefully it'll stay cool and shady enough that these brassicas won't bolt. Yeah, so let's get some sprouts into the ground. Got all our brassicas tucked in and happy, happy, happy brassicas. Over here I've got a few more brassicas and my spinach plants. But really y'all, I know I keep harping on it, but look at these gorgeous peas. All right, so let's talk about that carrot patch because I gave up on the carrots. <laughs> I didn't give up, give up on the carrots. I'm still gonna try and, and sprout some more in the greenhouse and we'll see what happens. Um, if I get enough sprouts, great. I'll put them right in the ground. But as of today, which is two weeks from me putting a whole bunch of carrots in trays, there are precisely three carrots sprouting. So I'm doing something wrong. I may try and do some homemade seed tape and try the carrots again. Why not? We'll give that a shot soon. Um, in the meanwhile, I took over the carrot bed and decided that, screw that, it's gonna be a beet bed. <laughs> so come take a look with me. Put in a couple nice rows, one each of red cylindra and golden yellow. We'll see how those do. I am hoping for beets. All right, so everything's in for the time being that we want to be in. I am stoked about these beet rows. I've um, been thinking about getting those in for weeks, but I, because I started them in the greenhouse, I needed to harden them off. So it is just an absolute delight to finally have those in the ground. Brassicas are in, mustard greens are in. Oh my God, I love mustard greens. So just about everything that we had hardening off is in. I'm gonna do some window boxes with the flowers today or tomorrow, get those all set up and make the house, make the front of the house pretty too. Um, I think I'm probably gonna start some more green beans. I was looking at the, the 
trays in there and realizing that I wanted to double the amount of bean plants I had last year and I have only just met the number of bean plants that I did last year. So I'm going to put some more of those up this week and get them ready. Luckily we've got a little bit of time. Beans sprout pretty darn quick and it's not even the first of May yet. So we're in good shape as far as that goes and we'll get that started next. So onward. Today I'm just hanging out in the dandelions. Um, we're going to be picking some of those and making some dandelion jelly pretty soon. So I'm just letting them bloom out and uh, re-sow some carrots in the greenhouse. I just don't want to give up on these carrots, y'all. I'm just, I'm just hoping so hard for carrots. So we'll give it another shot and see if we have carrots this year or not. Yeah, so that's what's going on around here this week, and there will be more coming. We're going to finish painting the chicken coop and get the girls out soon. Yes. And so onward, right? I am wishing you a lovely day. Thank you for hanging out and checking out my garden with me. And there will be garden parties this summer. There will be garden parties this summer. Thank you for hanging out in the garden with me today. Catch up soon. Take care. I don't know if you saw on 